By now, most accounts have received Prodigy's battle update. This is an update that brings many new and exciting changes to battles. These changes majorly affect the battle aesthetic and it can get kind of confusing. In this video, I am going to try my best to explain the major techniques of new battling in Prodigy. Hopefully this can make you more confident in your battling skills. Let's begin. So now each spell has three different stats. Power, Aim, and Recharge. First, let's discuss Power. Power is obviously the amount of damage you are going to do on your opponent. Now each spell has its own power level from 1 to 5, 1 being the weakest and 5 being the strongest. There is a pretty simple distinction between good spells and bad spells in New Prodigy, mainly the power and the aim factor into that. This is an example of a spell that has very little power. As you can see, it has 1.5 out of 5 sections filled. It is pretty weak. This is a physical spell that has two sections filled. Water Burst is a spell that has over half of them filled. Crunch is an extremely powerful physical spell with all but one half of a slot filled. And Twilight is a shadow spell that is maxed out in power. These spells are very OP. This is an example of how powerful Twilight is. It can do even more damage than that if you get a critical hit. Of course, being powerful against an element or being resisted by an element does affect the power level of the spell as well. The same spell will do different damage to different opponents, the same as it was with Old Prodigy. Aim is the likelihood of your spell hitting your opponent. Unlike in recent Prodigy, if you get your question right, you can still miss your spell. The two ways to miss a spell are to miss your question or to have a spell with bad aim. So there are several different categories for aim. You can have poor aim, which is pretty likely to miss. You can have okay aim, which is pretty moderate. It could miss, it could not miss. Then you have good aim, which is pretty likely to hit. Lastly, there is excellent. These spells are always going to hit. They are not ever going to miss. At this moment, Starbit is the only astral spell in the game, so it's pretty good that it does not ever miss. The final of the three factors in each spell is its recharge. A spell's recharge is how long it takes before it can be used again. This is counted by the number of turns your player gets during battle. The different categories are 2. It takes 2 turns to recharge 1. It takes 1 turn to recharge None. It takes no turns to recharge, it is always available and never. You can only use it one time per battle and it will never recharge until the next battle. The recharge of a spell is marked by these lines across this right here. This is a spell that has no recharge, a spell that takes one turn to recharge, and a spell that takes two turns to recharge. The spells that never recharge, the ones that you can only use one time per battle, always start off the battle by charging so that you cannot use them immediately. An all out attack requires 3 turns of charging by your wizard and that is why you will probably almost never use all out attack in battle. If you use the right spells, you should almost never be passing by your wizard 3 different times. The best spells are typically going to be spells that have a combination of good power, good aim, and no recharge. The best examples of these are going to be found in your dice attacks, which I will go over later. They typically have very good stats and you would want to use them as much as possible. Usually the most powerful spells are going to have at least one turn of recharge. The most powerful spells, such as Twilight, are never going to recharge and you should choose when you use those spells wisely. Knowing what the best spell to use in a certain situation is one of the most important parts of learning battles in Prodigy. If you use the wrong spell, it could cost you a battle even if it's against a random monster, you can still lose. I would highly recommend keeping a copy of this strengths chart where you can easily find it. You may need to reference it a lot as you learn the new strengths and weaknesses. Right now there are 5 different types of spells. Each spell has one of the 5 marks on it to help you differentiate between them. The first type is a regular single hit. You choose what opponent you want to hit and it hits them one time. The second type is an area of effect spell. This will hit each enemy in the matchup one time. 
The third type is a multiple. This will hit one enemy several times, usually either two or three. The fourth type is an area of effect multiple spell. This will hit all enemies several times. In general, these are some of the weakest spells. The final type of spell is a dice attack spell, or otherwise known as a random spell. This type of spell will choose one opponent at random and attack. If there is only one opponent in the battle, then it will have no choice. As I said before, dice attacks are some of the best spells in the game. You can do good damage to one of the opponents in battle, the downside being that it can choose an opponent that it will be weak against, or it can do great damage against your single opponent. That is why dice attacks are easily some of the best spells in the game. Each of these five different types of spells can be easily identified by their icons. I would suggest memorizing what each icon is to the best of your ability along with the strengths and weaknesses chart. Finally, with the absence of foods and potions in New Prodigy, some pets have been given spells that allow them to heal. Some healing spells even give you the option to heal any member of your team. I wanted to point out that right now, choosing the best combination can be a bit difficult since Prodigy has removed all stats and spell viewings from the pet book. I can assure you that they will be added back in the future and it will be easier to tell which pets are best to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the major mechanics of battling with the battle update. I hope it helps you out with this transition into a new era of Prodigy. There was definitely more that I could cover in this video, but these are the major things I thought everybody should know about. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments. While you're there, share all of your thoughts about Prodigy's new battle update. Good luck learning how to battle in New Prodigy!